Hi, my name is Richard Walters, and in this demonstration, we're going to look at formatting in Microsoft Project. The formatting will cover formatting bars, formatting text, formatting non working, and other areas of formatting in Microsoft Project, and these will now be covered in the video. In this demonstration, we're going to look at formatting in Microsoft Project. So there's a variety of different formatting options, and we'll look at some of these formatting options. So for example, one format of formatting option might be the non-working, the Saturday and Sunday in the chart area of Gantt chart. This could be updated by using the time scale area where you can see the M to an F and the week segments. So this time scale area can be activated to a double F click and the gray box appears called time scale, or you could actually activate it on the right click over the time scale area, and then you'll see the option time scale. And again, you can activate it. So I'll continue now to the non-working time. And we'll have a look at the color. We'll change the color of the gray bars. I'll pick a different color. I'll go for a light blue this time. And there's a different color. If you don't like that color, you might say I don't like it, and go back to time scale. And pick another color, a different color gray. And I'll leave it at that example. Now we might want the, the non-working bars to have a different appearance. We can do this through time to the time scale area. If I go to the non-working at the moment, they are what's called behind the task bars. If you bring them in front of the taskbars, that means you'll see the the taskbar only showing when it's working. So you won't see this blue bar going over both weekends. It'll actually then just segment itself between the weekends. So I'll put it in front of the bars. And there we go. So that any task that goes over weekends now shows itself separated. We know exactly when it's working. So some like this way of looking, others don't. I'll take it back to its default. And I'm going to put it to the default behind taskbars. We can change the color of the taskbars. So say, for example, I wanted the, the blue bars to change to a different color. I can do this by going to the Gantt chart format tab, the format drop the narrow bar styles. I'll pick a different color in this example. I'll go for a darker green. And there's the bar colors now. Now, I might want to make a certain part of the project a certain color. For instance, here I'll do the advertising section. There's four tasks to do with advertising. I want these to be a certain color. In this case, if I've highlighted them, format drop the arrow again, this time just bar. And I'll now pick the color of these particular bars. And I'll go for a darker gray. And that's the appearance at present now. There's lots of other formatting options. I'll have a look at um, what's called the changed cells now. So when you make a change to project, so say for example, I changed the link of first and second interviews presently, you finish the start. I'll change it to start to start. The changed cells appear in a light blue shading and this now shows you what's the impact of the change you've made. So I'm going to take it back to its finished start. And if you ever wanted to get rid of the blue shading, you can always just type in a, a new task and get rid of it. So I think I'm going to get rid of this blue shading. So I'll type in over test and then just delete it. Now, I want that changed color to look a different color. I want it to look more of a darker blue with a white font against it. So I'm going to go to the Gantt chart format tab again, text styles this time. And I'm going to go to the item to change, drop the arrow. I'm going to choose changed cells. And the light blue you can now see, I'm going to take it to a dark blue. And I'm going to go for a white font to go with it. And if I make a change again, so I'll change the second interview to start to start. I 
and you can see now it looks more a bit, a bit easy to see if it stands out a bit more on the change instead of the light blue so all all these can be changed we'll do one more change in this example i look at um the where we looked at the time scale area earlier on that's got different tiers like for example the middle tier in this example is the week segments and the bottom tier is the day i'm going to affect the middle tier because i want the the end of each of the weeks to show me a nice clear line of where that line where that week is finishing and i can do this through grid lines so i go to the gantt chart format tab format section of the ribbon grid lines drop the arrow and I'm choose grid lines and i'm going to go to the middle tier section i'm going to choose a, a line that i want and a color that i want so i'm going to go for a darkish blue okay and now we can see a nice dark blue coming down the the end of every week so it sort of like makes the gun chart stand out a bit more in the chart area but these are some examples of format and there's many more but this gives you an idea of what can be done with formatting in microsoft project this now completes the video demonstration on formatting thanks for watching see you in the next video